What's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at a plugin that is going to take your vocals to the next level. So I stumbled upon this plugin uh, when I was messing around working on a project for a couple friends of mine, uh, Esteban and Priscilla. They're a married couple and their group is called Wildfire. This is only the first song that is coming out. I'm going to have a link down below for you to check out their Instagram, Spotify, whatever you'd like. But all of that aside, this plugin is called the VPre73 from Black Rooster Audio. I've been on a Black Rooster Audio kick uh, for the past couple months and I still am. That obsession is not really going anywhere. But I scroll through their plugins every now and then just to see what else I can start implementing on my uh, on my sessions and the v pre i think i tried it originally on like a snare or a kick and i just it didn't do anything for me but then in this session i threw it on my vocals and it was a game changer so the v pre 73 i guess the best way to say it is inspired by uh the classic preamp the 1073 uh, lots of people have done copies of the 1073. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people still will in the future, but I really like the way this one sounds. In the past, I did a review of the Shep 73, which is also an emulation of the 1073 preamp, uh, but I believe that one focuses more on the EQ side of things. I think in tandem with the V Pre 73, insane amazing amazing sound before we really get into it i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching please be sure to leave a like and comment down below tell me what you think of the v pre 73 from black rooster audio uh and be sure to subscribe it helps out my channel a lot and helps me connect with more companies to make videos like this so it's a really straightforward plug-in uh simple controls you have the gain high shelf a trim a high pass low cut phase inverter and a in and out uh switch uh, they included some presets, but I don't really know how many presets you really need on a plugin like this when there's like five things to adjust. <laughs> but it's worth flipping through them to see if any of them like grab your attention. So like I said, I use this on my vocals. I use this on every single vocal channel, uh, as well as my viola and electric guitar channels. I didn't use it on my acoustic just because, uh, I don't know, it just didn't sound quite right on it. Uh, but what we're going to do is solo up a vocal pass. We will play it without the 73 and then with. When we are gone, will we leave behind a legacy of wrong? When we are gone, will we so it might be really subtle when it's soloed up by itself but let me jump to a part later in the song where there's harmonies i'm going to unsolo it turn off every 73 on all of my vocals i also have some on my uh, uh, reverb and delay just to just to give it a little bit of something so we'll play it without the v pre and then with And now I'm going to turn all of them back on. Savior, when we are gone, will we leave behind a legacy of wrong? I don't know if it's catching for anyone else, but for me, it makes a world of difference. It adds body and clarity at the same time. Uh, it's important, I think, to throw this at the beginning of your signal chain since it is acting as the preamp and it just makes everything else work way better uh, when this is starting it all off. Let's check out uh, one of the viola channels real quick. We'll solo this up, turn the V-Pre off, and then turn it back on. Again, I think the plugin speaks for itself. It sounds better with it in there. One last thing I'm gonna do is, since I have it on the viola, 
all the vocals and my electric and some of the reverbs and delays, I'm gonna turn off the V Pre on everything I used it on in this session and then turn it back on so you can see how much of a difference it made in bringing out the clarity and, and just natural beauty of this song. Let's actually count how many of these I used. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. I used ten of these. I'm going to bypass each and every one. Let me close these because this just looks really dumb. <laughs> Leave this one open just so you see it's in bypass. Uh, but we'll hit play. Listen to everything without the VPRI and then everything back on. Let our feeble hearts begin to sing. As kingdoms fall, laws will fail. I am not a ruler or a king. And now turning them all back on, every single one. Let our feeble hearts begin to sing As kingdoms fall, laws will fail I am not a ruler or a king Again, absolutely beautiful plugin. Like I said, let me know what you guys think of the Vpre 73 from Black Rooster Audio. I think the plugin is only like $40 if that. Uh, for the price, like it, it gives you an amazing sound that you can work with and, and I suggest it to everybody. Honestly, I, it sounds beautiful. Be sure to listen to the full song if you wanna really hear it in action through the whole thing. Uh, the By the time this video comes out, it will have been released already. So like I said, I'm gonna have a link down in the description for you to check it out. But thank you guys again for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. It helps out my channel a lot, like I said, uh, uh, and is really encouraging and helps me make more connections to create some cool videos for you guys. Again, thank you for watching and until next Tuesday. Let freedom Let freedom